Hi, I'm Joel with North Country Vans and welcome back to another build video. So today, it's a super exciting day for me. Today we get to take the van back to the customer. She gets to see it. She's gonna polyurethane and all the cabinetry inside and eventually we'll get it back to do the wrap up of the floor, ceiling and walls. So we are gonna drop it off this afternoon, but before we do, I figured I'd let you guys get a sneak peek and take a look at how it turned out. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you guys is we built a flip up countertop for the outside of the van. And then this bench here actually pulls open to fill in that space in the sliding door. And it's large enough that if you had a cot mattress, you have a second bed in your van, which is kind of cool. You guys have probably already seen the video where we built the large center drawers and the slide out countertop. This access door here is a large chest. And then what you haven't seen yet is our upper cabinets, which I think turned out pretty nice. We angled the bottom face here so that way when you're sitting up in bed you're not hitting your head on a sharp corner and then we routered in little notches in the face here and that way you can stretch paracord across and help retain whatever you have stuffed in there which would be pretty nice and we did the same on the other side we have our upper cabinets for our kitchenette done And we got the lowers done as well. On this side, it's gonna be used for storage. And what we did is we built some wooden crates. So that way if you're outside camping and you wanna take a bunch of kitchen stuff outside to cook with, you can do it pretty easily. On the other side, we're gonna have two five gallon tanks of fresh water and a gray water. And then we're gonna have a foot operated pump to pump it up into the sink. So that is looking pretty dang good. Let me take you to the back of the van and I'll show you what we did there. So at the back of the van, I did the best I could to maximize the space. So we have enough room to fit a mountain bike and we have a shelf here for things. We did the same routered finger approach and that way if you have a backpack or an inflatable paddle board, you can keep it pushed up against this wall. Down here, you have a long storage cubby for hiking poles. And then up top, this is a nice deep cubby that the mattress will sit against. So that way you can have your laptop, your books, water bottle, all easily accessible from the bed. And then behind this door is our power system. So 300 amp hours of AGM battery, a 2000 watt inverter, and we have a 110 plug and a 12 volt plug in the back. So if you have to inflate anything, it's nice and easy. Up front in the van, we have another 110 and 12 volt plug. On the other side, above the bench, we have a 110 and we have a five volt USB charger. If I flip it around, we have a reading lamp that sits above the bed and that has a five volt USB on it. Here's our inverter remote and then we have a Victron battery meter that's Bluetooth capable and this will be for our upper lights once we put ceiling in. So all cool things has taken an absolute ton of work to get to this point. We still have a lot to go though. Um, but to answer a couple questions, so a lot of van builds that I've seen, the first thing they start out with is they build the walls and then they put the floor down. And I kind of approach it a little bit opposite of that. I like to, to build all the cabinetry in first and then finish off with the walls. And the reason why is the wall material is pretty expensive. Um, and you're gonna cover a lot of that with beds and cabinets and, and you're gonna cut out sections of windows and, and all of these things. So. 
I, I would leave that towards last. Build all your cabinetry in and then put furring strips in where you can actually attach your, your final wall covering. And that makes it nice and easy for as you're running power wires and plumbing that you can keep it all hidden and still accessible while you're working through the process. Um, as far as flooring goes, I would hold off on that to very last. And the reason why is, is a lot of your snap lock flooring, if you look at the installation instructions, they actually tell you to leave a gap um, from where the flooring meets the wall. And that's because as the humidity and temperature changes, it'll expand and contract. And I made this mistake before. Um, if you lay all of your flooring in the van at once and you bolt your cabinetry on top of it, that floor can't expand anywhere. And so eventually it'll start puckering up um, or the, the planks will separate and you'll start getting kind of openings in your flooring of your van, which doesn't look very nice. So I would wait until do the flooring till the very last. And again, a lot of your, your flooring space is going to be covered by cabinetry. So why spend all the money to, to put nice flooring in places you're just going to cover up? So at least that's my approach on it. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, it looks beautiful! Great job on those cupboards! Thank you. I love it! Oh, and it smells so good! That is awesome!